Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of the Open RCT2 10 minute roller coaster challenge. For today's episode I've chosen the bobsled coaster, so I'm gonna start the timer right now. So the first thing we wanna do is like build a little bit of a setting to put our coast into and I thought of something like a mountain range with a valley in the middle that we can fit our coast into. So first of all we're gonna do some landscaping. So now we've got a little valley right in the middle of um, that mountain range and now we're gonna fill that with a bobsled coaster. We're gonna start with a station right here, I think. That station will lead directly into a lift hill. And I think that we won't go up too much since um, bobsled coasters mostly aren't that steep, I think. Um, I think we'll incorporate the downwards movement of the coaster in form of helixes since I've seen that often in bobsled coasters. So I think that we're going a bit upwards again and hope that the bobsled coaster doesn't crash right here. I think that will activate the simulation as well, so we can see if our train makes that. Okay, that looks good already. Okay, so I think that coast is gonna be on the shorter side, so I think that we'll build right back to the station from this point. I think that we should also incorporate some brakes right here. Thank you. 
First of all, we're gonna give that because uh, there's some other colors. I think that we're gonna make it white with dark blue borders and gray supports. And I want to try and incorporate a block break right here. Uh, since we can then maybe fit two trains instead of one. And the station style is gonna be... A wooden style. And the cars are gonna be light blue. Okay, now we got two minutes left to do the rest of our scenery. I think we're gonna start with a path from the entrance and exit. Okay, so we got two more things to do, and one of them is replace the ground with this ice texture. And then we're gonna place some of those snow covered trees right here. And the 10 minutes are already over. So we built a pretty nice looking coaster, I think. We also can have a look at its stats. Okay, so our stats are pretty low, but I think that results from missing some stat requirements for this coaster and having a pretty low average speed. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope that you had some fun and see you next time.